everyone welcome to next of all talk show presented by click quick meetings today we have mrs pansi bhatia with us mansi is a certified practitioner of law and member of bar council of maharashtra india she has extensive experience in data protection and intellectual property rights with more than 500 marks under her management she is a practice leader of the vertical in her firm extends end to end support to her clients right from registration and management to protection and representation including drafting diligence assignment and valuation advisory services pertaining to complex ip mna transactions she has also authored two books on the subject namely important concept of copyright law and its registration process in the india second is entrepreneur guides for conceptual understanding of trademark and its registration process in india She is also an educator and fashion and art enthusiast, and a visiting faculty at globally renowned fashion school, Istito Melangoni. Welcome, uh, Mansi, and uh, let's begin with your interview. So, before that, I would like to ask you a very basic question. Uh, like, if you can just uh, brief us about your journey in the legal profession so far. yeah so hi abhishek uh, thank you for a nice interview uh, start but yeah so we will just uh, i just want to say uh, one thing about my legal professional so far is that it's been a very uh, modest journey to begin with 8 uh, years down the line uh, so i have done uh, a lot of assignments relating to ipr as well as litigation uh, provided end to end that is from the inception till the closure and that is something that has helped me uh, to reach so far in my field uh, of expertise because that is something uh, that has put some kind of knowledge into me uh, which and and has differentiated me from the others because that is uh, the kind of uh, hard work and knowledge that you need to put in to get an expertise level of that sort one so uh, let's come to the next question so tell us about your memorable case uh, and what are your key takeaways from there yeah uh, so the most memorable case i believe for any legal practitioner or a legal person would be the first ever case that that person must have ever uh, encountered or appeared so for me it's also the same feeling uh, it was the first case of mine which was a trademark hearing uh, and the case was a pretty complicated and a complex one uh, the chances of me uh, getting it in my favor were very bleak but uh, i had uh, my conviction into my efforts and my research uh, and i had the dedication to go ahead and uh, and try my little best to get what the results we needed and uh, and i am really proud to say that it was working in my favor and uh, it's a very good different feeling uh, to uh, win your first case ever and okay. it's the best thing and the best feeling that i can um, say or express in words <laughs> so that is a memorable uh, case that i have and also um, the take away uh, from that case was to never lose hope uh, and always uh, have a uh, firm belief and faith in your research and your work and that would pay off certainly yeah absolutely correct so i completely agree with your points because we have been in the intellectual property uh, for quite long and uh, so i just need to understand from you how do you look at intellectual property in 2021 and uh, what do you think how it's going to change in 5 years down the line yeah uh, so i foresee uh, a lot of development in 2021 in terms of ipr uh, uh, especially in the fields of science and technology uh, because that is the need of the r in amidst this pandemic and also i've been getting a lot of patent uh, inquiries or uh, assignments with relates to uh, various drugs and also uh, with really a lot of cleanser and sanitizer making companies coming up with new various uh, uh, 
divergence of their brands. And also I see a lot of improvement in the agriculture area also. Down the line of uh, five years now, I foresee a lot of uh, awareness in terms of IP rights uh, in the minds of people. Uh, since everyone is work from home right now, everyone is using technology to kind of run their own activity of business. Uh, and also I see a stronger enforcement in terms of those rights. Absolutely. So uh, if I talk about your personal services, about your law firm services, uh, how do you differentiate your services from others in that? Yeah, uh, so uh, what we really strive uh, to do uh, all the time for our customers is to um, uh, give a little extra to their plate, uh, give them a little uh, 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 additional uh, value to their uh, satisfaction that is by means of uh, uh, enabling a timely and efficient and a smarter customer service through our uh, technology and uh, softwares that we uh, use in our company uh, to manage the portfolios. So uh, something a bit extra on their plate is always what they want and is always what we try to provide them. And that's how we can uh, say that we, we segregate ourselves from the rest of the companies in these so you mean uh, giving them additional services and uh, yeah some value addition uh, to what they've already uh, been expecting from us is something that we do all right and any advice for the new and budding ip attorneys yeah uh, so one advice which i would like to give uh, all the new and budding uh, entrants of ip attorneys uh, is that uh, you must inculcate and have a thirst of knowledge uh, you you so you don't know how vast the subject is. it's just like an ocean and the only way through it is to get as much as knowledge and to empower yourself with as much as research can you do and as much as enlightenment from all these magazines and news channels all those things really matter a lot however in those uh, stages when we are studying and when we are uh, in that phase of colleging we do not really uh, do uh, such kind of a research or follow such kind of articles magazines but it's really important for your uh, knowledge and if you want to specialize 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 in ip uh, we really need those kind of uh, inputs absolutely because we always have to enhance our knowledge yeah. in this so it's not uh, it, so it's not enough to just have your bookish knowledge uh, it's more uh, of how well you are connected with the current scenarios as well absolutely Thank you so much uh, for sharing such great insight with us, uh, Mansi. And uh, it's our pleasure Thank to you have so you much. with us today. And we look forward to have a chat with you again uh, in the future and on some other friendly topics related to IP. And for sure. your viewers, sure. if you like this chat uh, with Mrs. Mansi, uh, please like and share this video and also subscribe to Clickway Creators YouTube channel to appreciate what we, what we do and uh, we have more coming from our industry leaders. This is Abhishek for Let's Talk.